Okay, we've got the grommet cutters and setters all cleaned and ready to go. And I've got my fabric panel made and I've got marks as to where the holes for the grommets are going to go. So first thing I need to do is put the cutter in. Now I've chosen a size 10 grommet today for this particular project. So I've got my 10 cutter, like I said, I've got it all nicely cleaned. And I wanna make sure that I'm not going to inadvertently drop this and damage the cutting surface as I'm screwing it in. So that would be why I have the chipboard in there. Being careful, the bottom of course is very sharp. And since I'm going to be cutting, I do want to put the cutting block under. And then I have to make sure that this is at the correct height. So handle at 10 o'clock, bring the handle to 2 o'clock. I want that cutting surface just to start into that chipboard. Not into it, but maybe just to be just above it. And that looks pretty good right there. Okay, so I'm actually ready to cut the holes for my panel. I'm going to have a little assistance on this. I'm going to go ahead and set the fabric for you so my arms are not in the way of the video. And I'm lining up the middle of the hole, or the middle of the mark. Go ahead and cut. And then it's just as bring your panel down. I've got new chipboard under where that hole is going to be. And let's go ahead and cut another hole. Okay, that's good. Thank you. If you notice a few marks on your cutting board, you're fine with that. You've actually protected that cutting surface with the chipboard. Now I have to actually get all that stuff I cut out of my cutter. So again, I've just opened up a paper clip. Every cutter has a small hole in the top, putting some downward pressure on it, and it's going to clean out anything that was stuck up inside there. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this, and I'm ready to set that grommet. So I need to take the cutter out. Of course, you would have cut all the holes all the way across your panel first. And I have the chipboard here just in case I drop this. It would fall against the chipboard instead of falling against that metal. And I have my two-piece setter ready. It's nice and cleaned. I need to screw the top piece in. It's threaded. The threads match the inside threads. I always find it a little bit tricky to get it started, but once you do get it started, it's pretty easy to get it up inside, nice and tight. And then your bottom sets into the hole. And again, check your 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. So at 2 o'clock, I want to just be starting to crimp that grommet, so I do need to lower this a little bit. And my hands are nice and greasy. Okay. So after a while, you'll probably just know approximately where to put your cutter and your setter. What that does though, when you bring your handle back up is it allows you to be able to get your fabric in here. So with the right side of my fabric down, I'm going to put the front of the grommet on the front of the panel. That's just a nice, perfectly sized hole that was cut there. The teeth go down, and then this whole thing has to go in that setter. So I'm going to reach behind here. And I went just a little bit too low because I can't get the grommet in there. It's still a little too low. So actually what I should have told you is at 2 o'clock, this just starts to touch the bottom of the setter, not the top of it. Oh, goodness. There we go. Of course, we're using round grommets here. If you were using a triangle or a square grommet, you'd have to make sure that it's placed correctly. I'm going to have Susan just bring that handle a little bit down so she doesn't pinch my <laughs> fingers in there. And what I'm doing is just checking for alignment to make sure the top matches the bottom and go ahead and crimp. Okay, and you'll notice that the bottom cuts into or grips the bottom of that fabric and completely curls those teeth over so I have a perfectly set grommet. Now the bigger your grommet, the more pressure it's going to take to set. So if you're setting using this machine to set anything up to a size 12, it's going to be just an easy pull. Anything over a size 12, you're going to have to give it just a little bit more.